Sequence comparison is a crucial aspect of bioinformatic analysis. Today's video is going to be about sequence alignment. We will discuss the difference between global and local alignment and also the difference between pairwise versus multiple sequence alignment. So first of all, sequence comparison is a crucial aspect of bioinformatic analysis that involves comparing newly determined biological sequences with previously known sequences stored in databases. Sequence alignment is considered the most essential step in comparing biological sequences. Sequence alignment arranges two or more nucleotide or amino acid sequences to identify regions of similarity between the sequences. These regions of similarity are helpful in understanding the functional, structural, and evolutionary relationships between the sequences. Now, the first step is usually to take two or more sequences and stack them on top of each other. So let's say I have the sequences of the histone protein in, let's say, five organisms. And what I will do is first I will stack them on top of each other as I have done over here. So I first put the human sequence, then the chip sequence, and then the mouse sequence, then the rat, and then the cow. The next step usually is to check for the match, mismatch, or to insert gaps so that we have a better alignment. Let's say I will look for match and mismatch in this sequence. So in this line over here, all I have are the matches. While in this line, I have a mismatch. These two are a mismatch with the three sequences which are at the bottom. So in this way, we do the sequence alignment to look for sequence similarity, which can tell us the conservation of sequences which are important evolutionarily. We have two approaches of sequence alignment. The first one is the global alignment and the second is the local alignment. So let's move forward with the global alignment first. Now what happens in the global alignment is it's a method of comparing two sequences which align the entire length of the sequences. And what we do is we maximize the overall similarity. This method is commonly used when we are comparing sequences that are of same length. So let's say I have two sequences. This is my first sequence, while this is my second sequence. And as you can see that there are some regions of similarity over here. And similarly, this is aligning well with this region. So what I will do is I will maximize the similarity by inserting gap like this so that the regions that are aligning well are right on top of each other. And I have aligned the sequences end to end like all of the sequences are right above each other. Now this method of global alignment is very very efficient for two sequences when you are looking for each and every letter and you want to align each and every amino acid or the DNA sequence okay. So what global alignment does it, it aligns the entire length of the sequences by maximizing the overall similarity. We have aligned the two sequences end to end and the sequences that are most you know efficient for this type of alignment are the ones that have same length. So you can say that the matching regions are above each other and they have been aligned end to end. In contrast to local alignment, what really happens is, instead of attempting to align the entire length of the sequence, only the regions with the highest density of matches are aligned. This is useful for identifying short conserved regions in proteins or nucleic acid sequences. Okay, So you can see that right over here, this was the most conserved region or you can see the high density of matches where it was present so we have aligned only this part while the rest of the sequence has been ignored in local alignment now let's look for the pairwise comparison you can see that in it forces the alignment to span the entire length while this only look for the regions of similarity it aligns every residue whereas it can be used for, for dissimilar sequences where every residue cannot have a counterpart in the second sequence and a general technique for global alignment is Needleman and Wunsch algorithm, while for local sequence alignment is the smith waterman algorithm. For global alignment, I have made a video on Needleman and Wunsch algorithm, and similarly, I have made a video on smith waterman algorithm. And I encourage you to go and watch these two videos because these two videos will clear all of your doubts. Now let's look for the type of sequence alignments we have. So we have two types of sequence alignments. These could be pairwise or multiple sequence alignment. 
so what happens in pairwise alignment is we only have two sequences whom we are comparing okay not more than two and uh, of course it cannot be less than two and we are using a scoring system whenever we get a match we give it a positive score while a negative score is given to the mismatching or the gaps in the sequence and if this is usually done to look for the similarity between the two sequences whereas in multiple sequence alignment we are aligning multiple of let's say more than two sequences uh, which could be of dna or proteins and this is very much efficient for generating phylogenetic trees let's say i have two sequences over here what i will do is i will do a pairwise alignment but when i have let's say five sequences i will be utilizing a multiple sequence alignment which can help me in finding the phylogenetic tree of determine which sequence is more closely related to which one okay. so there are different methods of sequence alignment for global alignment we have dot plot or also known as dot matrix method i will be making a video on that soon so watch out for that and there's needleman and bunch algorithm these two are for the global alignment whereas for local alignment we have smith waterman algorithm we have pasta and the blast algorithms usually dot plot needleman bunch algorithm and smith motherman algorithm are for pairwise alignment whereas for multiple sequence alignment we have pasta blast and other algorithms like muscle and cluster w etc so I hope you enjoyed this video. I want you to watch my one of other videos from the bioinformatics playlist or you can check out other biology videos in our channel. Good luck.